Good morrow and well. No, I'm not gonna do that. That's that's that's, that's just stupid. That's just stupid. So, um, you're probably wondering what I'm doing right now. Well, I come to you today to talk about uh, role playing and um, clean this glass, if you will. Yeah, so, feel free to, to to just just you know listen along to my tales of daring do or random tangents on role-playing systems that I come to and feel free to enjoy them and or horribly lambast me and, and, and send your hate mails because we're just ripping off Counter Monkey. Uh, frankly, I don't care either way. So, I should probably get this started. Um, my credentials as a GM or DM. Um, I've been role-playing since... Uh, Ooh, mid 1998, if if you can even think that far back. Actually, sad. Some of you probably watch and probably weren't even born then, and that makes me just makes me feel incredibly old right now. Anyway, yep, I got my teeth cut on uh, second edition AD and D before quickly moving on to Vampire the Masquerade, and of course the the most amazing thing ever of of of, of course uh, Shadowrun. And uh, been role playing and I'm mainly DMing ever since, you know. Just kind of small group of friends, groups here or there. First story I have to regale you with tonight is one from my oft gotten years of uh, Vampire the Masquerade, which, hey, believe it or not, the guy that owns the, an apocalypse cloak and uh, role plays in a basement plays Vampire the Masquerade. What are the odds? So, anyway, this was one of my first campaigns, so it was what I like to call a train wreck, even when it was on the rails. Uh, which it was frequently not. Um, I remember it well, the campaign was, uh, uh, I was trying to go for this, like, secret new underground organization of hunters that was using weird, strange new magics and special alchemical metals to, 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 to hunt all forms of undead, not just vampires. And the idea was, is, is, is there was, like, little to no proof of it, except for what the, the, the player characters were supposed to find, and, and eventually they were supposed to bring this to light, and, and, and something was to come of that. That was the idea. Um, the end result of the very first, no, not the very first session, it was the first session for another player that I had, um, they were, they were, were, were supposed to infiltrate the secret outpost of theirs, which they started doing, and I casually mentioned that, you know, it's, it's, it's next to, to, uh, uh, uh you know, uh, uh, World War II memorial. Now... I now realize today that there probably isn't any World War II memorial that has, you know, a tank in it in Chicago, but like I said, it was a train wreck when it was on the rails. So they're infiltrating this outpost when I, I, I described to them that they see a Tiger tank in very well condition. So they decide that they're going to ask me about this tiger tank. And, you know, I, 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 believe it or not, I'm also into uh, World War II stuff, so, you know, I rattle off, you know, what facts I know about the, the, the tiger tank, and, 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 and they get really excited, and so they steal the thing. M me knowing nothing about museums, I'm like, oh, okay, you jump inside it, and, 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 you know, a couple rolls later, you know, the dice spoke to me, they got the thing started, and took it for a joyride down downtown Chicago. Yeah. So 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 try to imagine two vampires in a, driving a tiger tank down the streets of Chicago. It's exactly what you think it is. That's where they met the 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 third player of the group. So I get invited to this house. My friend says, "Hey, hey." You like creating stories and everything. I've got someone for you to meet. And there I see the DM and think to myself, okay, sure, what are we going to do? They have pieces of paper, they hand one to me and say, hmm, make a character. I'm like, sure, sure, I'll make a 
Big strong guy. That's what I like. Big strong guy. All the, all the points and muscle. Because I didn't, never learned how to balance my characters. Well, luckily when he showed up, um, the tank was no longer an issue because he ripped the turret off. So this tank comes rolling down the street at me, and he asked me what my first instinct is. I'm like, oh, I'm really strong, right? Okay, so I grab the turret, and I pull. Made sense to me. I, uh, having enough of this chicanery and shenanigans, decided to, 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 to send an encounter of hunters after him. You know, because they're driving a tank down downtown Chicago. Which started off really good. They, you know, they, 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 they began the initiative round, and of course the vampires go first because they're, they're, they're super powerful vampires. When the combat was immediately ended because the guy that not only ripped the turret tank off, then smashed it down upon them. God, it was just like a fly swatter. I remember that was the, the image I had. Later on, I used that same technique with a Buick on another Buick, and I swatted a fly. That was great. It was at this point, I threw up my hands and walked away from the table. And, uh... That is the tale of the Tiger Tank in downtown Chicago. I guess, I, I, I guess the moral of the story would be, um... Do research. Do research, and, 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 and not just the kind that interests you. Do, do, do research on other things, because when they steal a Tiger tank and, 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 and drive through it to downtown Chicago, it, 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 it can turn into a mess. I, I really should have just, you know, had the entire Camarilla, you know, immediately turn on them. But, um, you know, live and learn. Try us next time, and I'll... Regale you with the story about the uh, flower delivery. That's a good one. Um, I'm the DM, and um, keep your dice rolling. Dude, keep this in. Keep all this in. Keep all of it in. Keep it all in. And, 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 and you, you can you can, you can turn the camera off, but 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 keep it all in the credits. Just just <laughs> blank it. I I want them to be curious. All right. I, I, I want the credits. Like as soon as I get done talking and put this glass down, uh, you just stop filming because I, I want them to just be curious as to what the hell's going on here. <laughs> all right. That's 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 my brand of humor, and 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 that's how I like it. The continuous murmur.